Well, here I am, back home after my trip to the uh, lovely Yorkshire Dales. Um, I did a selection of paintings while I was there. Um, on four of them, I did sketches. That is my pencil sketch of Bridge Farm. We were staying at a converted uh, barn uh, about a mile away from Bridge Farm and um, produced this pencil sketch. Um, we had quite a week with the weather one way or another. Um, we had sun, showers, um, so consequently we had a lovely atmospheric um, feel to the, uh, to the week and I tried to capture that in all of my paintings. So that was the first sketch in pencil. Um, it was very wet, very windy that day, so I decided to go back into the cottage uh, or barn conversion and I produced that scene. Um, it's um, we've got the dark clouds at the top that came off uh, quite well. I tried to get a feeling of the rain uh, and the misting over the distant wood. Um, the old farm buildings um, obviously occasionally with the blue we did have um, uh, the sun just break through and that put a lovely sense of light onto the scene and I've tried to depict that um, at the appropriate time uh, to actually show up a, um, a shadow in the foreground then we have a light area where the sheep are lit up then we go into a, down into a field, um, less intense colour. Then there is a cloud shadow, a couple of cloud shadows, with a lighter area around the main um, focal point, which may even be that tree, but it's a building mainly. Um, and then up the hill at the back, we have more cloud shadow. Um, so we get lights, darks, lights, darks, um, lights and darks all the way up. Um, and I think that one came off particularly well. Um, my next subject was the lovely um, derelict barn, which there again, about 10 minutes walk, uh, looked across the fields and I could see this old barn in the distance. Um, so uh, went through the gate and found a point in which to paint it. Um, this particular day, um, the sun was shining and all of a sudden we had cloud, just as I got my drawing down. Uh, so I did a pencil sketch, sh um, sheltered from the rain a touch behind a wall uh, and waited till the first um, rain had gone over. Uh, got the composition, think that's about right. Uh, but there again, lots of cloud work, dark wooded area um, and then field with um, sheep. Um, and I did start to paint this one on site and um, put some of the um, painting down on site um, mainly the cloud work, the more um, um, lighter colours, first washes um, and I think that came off particularly well in the end um, actually working from uh, our converted barn again um, which, um, you know, even if you're there and you make a pencil sketch on site, it does give that, um, does give you that sense of atmosphere. And hopefully I've captured that. Sun coming from the left, and we can see that the barn is partly tiled, uh, and the rest of the tiles are missing. You can see the, uh, joists through that. Um, these sheep shine very well against the darker greenery, and, um, a uh, feeling of light coming through the trees but obviously lots of shadow coming over the building quite an atmospheric scene uh, a selection of um, um, sheep in the field um, and I think that one there again came off quite well um, quite pleased with that one considering the conditions we then took a walk to um, Hubber Home um, and on the walk, more or less the Ketterwell Hubble Home Road, um, we walked along the road um, to that uh, uh, 
lovely little village of Hubble, Hubble home. It's not even a village really, it's just a bridge and a uh, church and what have you. Um, but along the route I came across this there again, another one of them old barns, but this one was not inhabited. Um, presumably it's still used for the cat, for the um, sheep to um, shelter. And um, uh, lovely walk. So I decided to make a pencil sketch of that. You've got the lovely tree, the two dark trees, the building in sunlight, uh, distant hills running away. There again it was the type of day that was quite uh, cloudy and yet the sun was breaking through. Um, when back in the cottage or the converted barn, I then produced that picture. Um, and I think that came off well again due to the fact of the uh, clouds hanging over the distant hills um, just misting in places, patches of blue, um, got the lovely old tree with the barn, uh, the light coming there again from the left, um, and uh, shadow work, foreground, a couple of figures. Um, it's, it's all a matter of balance, you know. Uh, behind that um, barn there is n just a hint that there is trees, but where we have an open area we have a bit more detail, um, particularly there. No, nothing behind that tree except the green wash. Um, but um, um, to be fair, uh, had you have had our painted trees behind that tree, that would have just been lost in, in the background. A uh, simple treatment of the um, of the wall, stone walling. So there again, that one I think came off particularly well. Uh, nice cloud work, and then. Just down the road, we found ourselves in the very small hamlet of um, Hubberholm. Um, got the lovely bridge there with the building uh, that the road comes down to from the left and over the bridge. Um, lovely sort of uh, uh, river with the um, beach, sort of like a stone, rocky beach. Uh, that this time of year is obviously um, still um, as dry. There is su still some water there. Um, trees in the background, hills that are covered by the trees. Um, so, there again, didn't have time to put any colour down, um, but when I got back to the barn, we, um, before dinner that evening, tried to keep the feeling of what I saw that day, uh, trees in the background, sunlight on the um, bridge itself, the, the beach, um, maybe the beach could have been, the, the, the rocks could have been a little lighter than that, uh, but I did have a lot of shadow from the trees on the opposite bank, so, um, you know, um, but overall I think that one has come off particularly well again. It picks up the atmosphere of that. Notice the red chimney and the red figure. Those two play off well against all the greens that are in the in the scene. Treatment of the building very simple because of the tree on top, but obviously treatment of the, um, uh, the stone bridge uh, a little bit more detailed. Background soft sits back, but the tree on the right holds in that right hand side, and um, warms and cool colours on the gravelly beach uh, area of the river and so that one there again quite pleased with that one and on the final day <coughs> decided to um, produce a picture of the barn conversion we stayed in uh, looking across to the dales in the distance um, we was down a track um, probably two or three hundred uh, meters down a track well away from anywhere just stuck in the field really, uh, ideal location and I just wandered up the field, looked down and uh, it was sort of like that time of the day when we got that deep dark cloud and yet the sun was creating a warm glow in the distance uh, so we got cloud shadows particularly on the distant hills and in the foreground that sunlight on the building and I think that one came off particularly well. Um, I'm going to post one or two small videos um, of this, uh, the week and uh, on YouTube and I'm going to also um, put up a selection of these paintings, uh, some at various stages 
um, on my Facebook page and my LinkedIn page uh, so keep an eye on that if you need to know anything uh, about what I do just search Colin Steed Artist and everything, all the different platforms will come up on the search well that was a lovely week and I hope to return to that area again um, sometime in the future keep tuned in and we'll have some more tutorial videos sorry, um, in the future Thank you.